This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. This is Ben from Heart Internet, and welcome back to part two in the series of how to set up your HostPay installation. Now in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add hosting packages, add-on products, and also payment gateways. To get started, go to your reseller homepage, and once that's loaded, click on the configure hosting packages icon. That's just under the manage tab at the top. So this will be the page where you actually set up each individual hosting package. You can assign features such as web space, databases, email mailboxes, and all the similar features you'd expect to find in a standard hosting package. Now as I scroll down the list, you'll actually get to the section where you'll be setting up each package itself, just here. Now in this section, I'm going to show you how easy HostPay makes setting up your very own web hosting packages. Now on the left, you have all the features a standard web hosting package to provide. You've got options such as bandwidth, web space, FTP accounts and MySQL databases plus much more. A little bit lower down are web tools and scripts and we'll come to those shortly. Now the first step in setting up your hosting package is giving it a web server type. You have a choice between Windows Server 2008 or Red Hat Linux. The next step is giving it a package name. A popular name of convention is giving it names such as bronze, silver and gold. I'm just going to give it basic for the purpose of this demonstration. The next step is setting up the features. Using the drop down menu you can assign the value of each feature and you can go all the way up to unlimited. I'll be setting web space to 1000 megabytes and the same for bandwidth. It's worth noting that you can assign whatever you like to these values when you're setting up your own hosting package. For MySQL databases I'm going to give 5. This is important if you want to offer scripts to your users because a lot of them actually do require the use of a MySQL database. A little bit further down is web tools. So you can assign what options you actually want to give your front end users when they actually order this package. There's some great things here such as um, bandwidth logs, web builder, file manager, and you can also offer free software as well to also incentivize buying this hosting package from you. Now the CGI and PHP scripts are one click installs and as I mentioned earlier you're going to need a database for some of these. You can select all on or all off or individually. The choice is really up to you. Once you're happy with the way your package has been set up simply click create new package here. Okay, so once that's loaded, you notice the package name basic you've just created will now be listed here under the hosting packages section. Now you can edit this package at any time you like. You need to go on the configure hosting packages option on the right, then simply click on the package name. The next step is to set up pricing for this package and how often it should be renewed, e.g. monthly, yearly and bi-yearly. Now to do this, click on the host pay link on the right. Once that's loaded, click on the hosting products icon. Okay, so the hosting product page allows you to assign prices and what billing period each package should have. On the drop down menu on the left, you'll have all the packages you've created. And to the right, it's billing period, monthly, quarterly, yearly, bi-yearly and never. So if I wanted to set up my basic hosting package on a monthly billing period, I click add. This will create a drop down of all configuration options for this package for the monthly period. You get to give it a product name, a description, what price to charge per month, will you offer a setup fee. You also have the option to offer a free domain with this web hosting package as well. And is this product actually for sale? You can also give multiple billing options for the same package. So I could assign the basic package a yearly price. You'll see another option has appeared there. And again, the same features as the monthly one. You can continue to do this for all the renewal periods there, as you can see. Now you simply keep repeating this process for all your hosting packages until they're all set up properly. Once you're ready, scroll down and click Save Changes.
And there you go, you've got a confirmation saying all the packages have been set up properly for you. The next step will be showing you how to sell add-on products such as SSL certificates and Website Builder Plus to your customers. Now to do this, click on the add-on products section on the right And once that's loaded, you notice a very similar setup to the way the hosting products worked, where you actually have the package on the left in the drop-down, and then the billing cycle on the right. You notice things such as search engine submission, website builder plus, personalized secure servers, all those sort of things can be managed from this page. Now if I was to add website builder plus on a monthly billing period, I'd click add. I'd have the option to give it a name, description, is this product attached to another product? The price to charge, a setup fee, and also the management URL. Much like the hosting, you can have multiple billing periods for each product. Once you're happy with the way you set up your add-ons, you can click Save Changes. You'll then get a thank you screen, just confirming that your settings have now been saved. Okay, I've now shown you how to set up domain names, hosting packages, and also add-on products. I'm now gonna show you how to set up and take payments online. For this, click on the host pay home link on the right. Then on this page, click on the payment gateways option there in the middle. Now this page contains all the vital information you need to accept payments for your website. As I scroll down, you see we provide all the most popular payment gateways. PayPal, WorldPay, Google Checkout, SagePay, No Checks, To Checkout, and also offline payment methods such as check and invoice. It's definitely worth mentioning that you read through our payment gateway setup guide, as it contains all the important information you need before setting up your accounts to make sure they are configured properly. If we take a closer look at some of these gateways here, you notice it's really self-explanatory what to put in these fields. PayPal email, for example. When the world pay, you need your installation ID. Once you fill those all in, click Save Changes. Okay, once the payment page is reloaded, you'll be able to use the gateway or gateways you've just set up to start receiving payments for your host pay installation. It's also worth mentioning that should you have any further questions or need further assistance in getting host pay installed, we have an absolutely fantastic support team which are available to you 24 seven, 365 days of the year.